What's up everyone, I am Toku Tyler, and today we will be taking a look at the DX Jikan Zax from Kamen Rider Geo, the personal weapon of Kamen Rider Gates, which, it's it's a cool weapon, I didn't know how the toy was going to go, because I'm like, it's another 2-in-1 weapon thing, and the axe mode looked kind of weird at first, but I like it, I, I really, truly, honestly, love this thing. I think it's, I like this better than the Jikan Grade, probably, just, but we'll get into that. We're looking at the box right now. Here is the axe form. There is the bow form. And there is Gates himself, right up there. Very nice. There it is with Gates bow mode. And Gates using the axe mode. Very nice. Over here, you get a little more of that. The two different modes. Gates up there and up there. And then on the back, the functionality. Changes between the two modes. You can use it in bow mode to make these sounds, and you can use it in axe mode to make these sounds, as well as with a ride watch, just like the G-Con grade. And of course, down here, right there, don't eat your toys. And cool shot on the bottom. Very cool. So let's get into it. And here it is, the Jikan Zax. I love saying that. It's it's, it's kind of awkward at first, but once you get used to it, it's cool. But here it is in axe mode or Ono form. Very cool. I, li I love the red and black. I really do. And the yellow, is just, Gates' colors are a really good color combination. I like it. It's very cool looking. I like it. Um, and on the back, of course, it's not painted or anything, but that's, that's usual for Rider toys. But... There is the on-off switch right there. There is the speaker right up there. Battery pack down here holds two triple A's. Very good, very good. So yeah, and little features when it's in bow mode. You can pull that back to draw back the arrow. There's the trigger down here. And that's where you put the ride watches. And there is the Geo logo in there. Very cool. So... Enough of looking at this guy. Let's turn it on and we get this. I love that. I love the digital kind of voice to it. It's so awesome. So yeah, now we have turned it on. You press the trigger and you get this. That's a cool like breaking slash noise. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay. And you get the same thing by doing this. They both work the same way, but uh, it's, it's cool. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm all over the place. And here is the little button here, just like the G-Con grade. Press this, and you get a special attack with this mode. That's cool. It does the countdown, but this time it does it in like English. It actually says five, four, three, two, one. That's pretty cool. And if you do it again, but interrupt it. You get another sort of breaking slash noise, which is cool. So yeah, now on to using a ride watch in it. We will use Kamen Rider Gates, obviously, because this is his weapon. That's pretty cool. I think it says... Uh, Zakuri cutting. That's really cool though. I like that. And the funky music with it just makes it all the better. So that's awesome. Okay, now to release it, you press this up. And I, it'll fall out, but <laughs> I didn't catch it. I'm sorry. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now on to the second mode. Let me adjust my camera because it gets kind of tall. So be right back. Okay, so to get it into bow mode, you pull this. And place it down here till it snaps in, and it'll say Yumi, like Yumi. 
but it also says it like you and me, which I find kind of funny. That's awesome. But yeah, so now we are in bow mode. Or Yumi mode. But it's very cool. I like it. And instead of holding it right here like I thought you do, you can hold it right here. So it's still a bow sort of handle for you, which is nice. So, because it is a bit awkward to hold it like this the entire time and shoot. It's better to hold it right there. So that makes more sense. I don't know. So that's cool. So now for its sounds, you pull this back and you can hold it there. And once you release it, You can kind of rapid fire with it, but if you really want to rapid fire, just keep pressing the trigger. Which is cool. So, it's a nice sort of like pull back and release. I like that. I like bow weapons a lot. So, that that's good that they have that sort of function. It doesn't just keep going after you hold it. That's cool. So, now for its special attack, press the button. That's cool. It's like a rapid shot sound and explosion. Nice. And if you interrupt this... You get a sort of power shot with it, which is, which is fine too. So, that's awesome. Now we use a ride watch in this one. We will grab gates again. Now you even you get an even bigger sort of scatter shot with it, which is nice. So now we'll release it again. And this time we won't drop it. So that's cool. Now to put it back into axe mode, you just pull this and <laughs> I love that. It says oh no, like oh no, but it's like oh no. Let's hear it again. I love that. I love that little detail because it's a, it's a play on the titles of the modes, which I love. So I just enjoy this thing makes me smile. That's basically what it is. This thing makes me smile so much. Very cool. Very awesome weapon. Here's just a little size comparison between the Jikan Grade gun mode and the Jikan Zax uh, bow mode. So it is a bit taller than the gun. Sorry. Uh, it is a bit taller than the gun, uh, but it's, it's cool. Once you get into Ken mode, it's definitely taller than the bow, so I just thought I'd show this off real quick. So those were the ranged weapons. Now here are the uh, hand combat sort of weapons like close quarters, like the sword and the axe. So as you can see, the sword mode definitely taller than the axe, but it's fine. I still like this thing a lot. I think it looks good. The sounds are definitely cool. And yeah, I don't know. Just thought I'd show that off too as well. So yeah, this weapon is definitely pretty cool. I I think I like this one a bit more, just just a little bit more than the G-Con grade. I I mostly like sword mode with the G-Con grade, but this one I love both modes. I love the bow mode and the axe mode is pretty cool. To it, it's I don't know. This the handle's a bit short for me. I don't know. I can still hold it pretty well, but I just I feel like this is bigger and this is, you know, smaller than it should be but oh and there's also the Gia logo on the handle there I didn't go over that sorry but it's still pretty cool to hold it it feels good to hold I don't know it's it's definitely a nice hand combat sort of weapon very cool one-handed I like it and Geo or I mean uh, Gates <laughs> getting their names wrong uh, Gates is still a pretty cool guy so he deserves a cool weapon like this and I like that it does have two modes as well so I love it I really do. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified of future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
I love that so much. Thank you.